Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to, uh, we're doing the CSS Flexbox tutorial, use display flex to position two boxes. This section uses alternating challenges styles to show how to use CSS to position elements in a flexible way. First, a challenge will explain theory. Then a practical challenge using a simple tweet component will apply the Flexbox concept. Placing the CSS property display flex on an element allows you to use other flex properties to build a responsive page. Add the CSS property display to the ID of box container. So the ID of box container, there's box one and box two. Box container is one, is contains both of these. And then box one and box two are two individual ID boxes on the inside. So we want to add the display um, to flex. Okay, and so that's basically the idea. I think that if you were to shrink this, it pops up. No, okay. So it's not responsible. It doesn't have a breakpoint. But anyways, we can run the test, and we'll see that this um, passes. The, the, the thing about this is that it's going to become, it's going to make more sense why we need to do a display f of flex on the side like that um, as, we, as we go more. But at least right now, you know that if you build two boxes in HTML and they're right next to each other, and you want to get them to line up with each other, you can add the display flex to the above container and that will work well um, if you inspect these you, oftentimes like Google Chrome has this thing where if you highlight it you can see the box container is this huge box which has the height of 500 pixels um, now 500 pixels watch if I hover over the box container it's right there that's about a square and it's 500 pixels but because we have it on flex it makes it so it'll uh, the insides will uh, recover. So their width and their height are responsive to the flex, I suppose. Um, yeah, but as you can see, if we run the test to pass, so.